Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Guys, we were talking about this cool tech product, and these are with life enhancing potential. And Tyler Suter, who's the vice president of communications for tech innovations with consumer technology associations, he's going to give us a peek. And Tyler, it, it, it's great to talk about technology that has a purpose. Oh, thank you, Valder. I couldn't agree more. I mean, tech is changing our lives for the better, whether that means making our lives easier or more efficient or safer or, frankly, just more fun. Um, so many of these innovations are now coming from startups, small businesses, entrepreneurs, innovators who are delivering tech innovations in some cases we never before imagined. So everything we're talking about today comes from a startup. So I'm going to dive right in. Okay, Valder? Okay, go. All right, great. First, a company called InMotion. They make a digital memory book. So, as you know, we're taking more pictures than we ever have before because of our smartphones. The problem is we're leaving those photos on our smartphones, right? So this gives you a way to pick your best, your favorite memories, get them printed out, put them in an album, and then because of a video screen that comes in this InMotion album, you can play videos associated with those pictures at the same time. So say you have a great beach vacation or had a fantastic family wedding you want to remember. You can turn to those pages, look at the pictures that you took or that were from that trip or that event, and a video will automatically play capturing the sights and the sounds. So it's a much richer, deeper experience as you're going through your memories. And then when you flip the page, depending on the videos you load, if you change topics from, say, a birthday party to a football game, the video will change automatically for you, playing out of your computer or PC or laptop. Brilliant connected technology. Also, from a company, from a company Valder, called Smart Beings, this is cool. I, I don't know if you talk to your phone or talk to any devices around the house, but you know, we're talking to them more than ever. And the cool part is they're answering back, right? And giving us this. Yeah, this I live with Alexa. I know. Uh, good. I'm glad to hear that. Down. Well, the WooHoo Smart Hub has all of that functionality when you're in the home. It listens to you, it will answer your questions, it will play really good music. But the coolest part, I think, comes from when you're away from home. There's a motion detecting system to tell if anyone's moving around in your home when there shouldn't be. And then if there is, you can tap into a 360 degree adjustable high definition camera through the WooHoo Smart Hub that then gives you a view around your house to see what's going on. Uh, it also has facial recognition technology that will learn you, learn your face, learn the faces of your family members and greet you when you come home. And then just in case you have a teenager like I do who doesn't always text you the moment she steps in the door from practice or from school, you can connect your smart homes uh, or your smart devices to this smart home hub and it will let you know when people walk in the front door. So your daughter's home from soccer practice, your son's home from school. Even if they don't text you to let you know, the WooHoo Smart Hub will send you an alert to let you know they are safe and sound. I, like I said, I love technology. <laughs> that, makes, that makes so much sense. It yeah. really does. Do you have one more item for us? I, I, let me show you two more quickly or talk about those, Valder, if you don't mind. This involves accessibility, so giving this newfound level of independence and freedom to people with vision issues or hearing issues. First, a company called Ira has smart glasses technology. So think of a set of glasses that you know a, a baseball player would wear in the outfield on a sunny day. 
This has sensorization built into those glasses, plus a small camera in front of the right lens. So people with low vision or the visually impaired can wear these, get connected to certified trained professionals who essentially act as their eyes. They're seeing what these people can't see. And they can help the visually impaired choose which door to take or which can of food to open or maybe give some directions from the bus stop to a job uh, interview all in real time. Um, so it's connected technology that improves our accessibility dramatically. And then something I think we could all use from a company called Nuhira, IQ Buds. These are smart wireless earbuds with noise cancellation features. So if you want to hear this program maybe and you're at work and you want to filter out your coworkers' conversations, you can do that with a tailored customizable uh, program that's within the Nuhira app. So you do it right from your smartphone. And then because something like 100 million Americans have some degree of hearing loss, these can help you in those situations. Say you're in a crowded restaurant. This will help you filter out the sounds around the restaurant so you can focus much better on the conversation at your table, the people you want to hear. A less expensive, easier to get technology, much easier than, say, hearing aids. It's an over-the-counter solution to help all of us hear better and enjoy our music better. And what I'm loving, Tyler, is Technology is, is so affordable in so many price points. Mm -hmm. But i got to ask you for my Dallas market. I'm national, <laughs> but I'm out of Dallas, and people know that. Right. How do entrepreneurs, how do they get their feet wet in, in, in this? Because I know I meet people all the time. You know, they <laughs> say, look at my app, look at my device that I created. Mm -hmm. Right. And look, innovation in the U.S. comes from every single corner of all there. I mean, it doesn't matter what state or what city or town you're in you can launch a product based on how good it is and what the market is, right? So first of all, don't give up. Steve Jobs didn't give up. Bill Gates didn't give up. Mark Zuckerberg didn't give up, right? That could be you one day. At the Consumer Technology Association, we're here to help as well. For our startup members, we offer a mentoring program. So we will pair you with technology sector business people who can help you through your challenges because they've been there before. They can help you with your business plan or talk about gaining the right investors or even getting good media exposure and getting your product to market. Also, and what? At, at, go ahead, please. Sure. I just got to say this, Valder. At the Consumer Technology Association, we're the owner and producer of CES, that big tech show that's in Las Vegas every January. We have an entire sector devoted to startups, hundreds of startups from around the world. It's called Eureka Park. Great way to get immense media attention, talk with potential investors, and bring your product to market. Change it from a dream to a reality. So that's through Eureka Park at CES. All right, then. And a website once again? CTA.tech, Valder, is the address. CTA, like Consumer Technology Association, dot tech, T-E-C-H. I love it. And CES <laughs> is my favorite, favorite thing to do every year. So thank you so much, Tyler Suter, for coming on the Valder BB Show and inspiring my audience about technology. Hey, Valder, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see you in Las Vegas in about nine months, okay? All right. Thank you, <laughs> Tyler Suter. Thank you.